Differentiation using a table of given derivatives. Now at this point I'm assuming you know the basics of differentiation, but what if you get something like this, y equals sine x? Now these are tricky to differentiate normally, so luckily the mathematicians have done all the hard work for us, and actually what they've done is given us a table of derivatives. And this is what it looks like. Not all of them are on there, I've actually cut some of them out just to streamline it for this video. In terms of exams, these are usually given to you on a formula sheet, as you're not expected to remember all these. Now how this table works is quite simple. On the left hand side, you've got the functions, and on the right hand side, the derivative of those functions. I'll show you how to do these two questions. Firstly, we've got y equals cos x. Well, if we look at our table of derivatives, look down and you'll find cos x. So now we need to have a look at the corresponding derivative, which is minus sign x. So dy by dx, will equal minus sine x. And that's that one done. Our second question, y equals e to the 8x. Let's have a look at our table of derivatives. We've got e to the x and e to the kx. We want to look at e to the kx as we've got a constant here. So our derivative of this function is ke to the kx. So if we write this dy by dx, equals 8e to the 8x, and that's it. There are four sets of questions now. Here is the first set. Each set will get tricky as we go along. I'll give you the answers when you resume the video. So for the first one, question one, y equals e to the x. We've got e to the x and the derivative is e to the x. So dy by dx equals e to the x. The second one, y equals cos x, or well, looking down the table, we've got cos x here, and the derivative is minus sine x. So dy by dx is minus sine x. Thirdly, we've got y equals ln x, so ln x here, and the derivative is 1 over x. So dy by dx equals 1 over x. Second set of questions, question four, We've got z equals e to the u, so this is using this function here and derivative. So dz by du equals e to the u, and that's it. Question 5, p equals e to the 8t. Again, we're going to be looking at the e functions, but we'll focus on this second one here, e to the kx. So e to the kx becomes ke to the kx, so dp by dt equals 8e to the 8t. That's that one done. Question 6. y equals e to the minus 3x. Again, we'll be using this one again. So dy by dx equals minus 3e to the minus 3x. Third set of questions now. Again, a little bit trickier. Question 7. f of x is sine 3x. So f dash x equals we're looking down the table, we've got the sine x function, but we want this second one here. So sine kx becomes k cos kx. So this becomes 3 cos 3x. Question 8, we've got f of x equals cos 4x. So f dash x equals, looking down the table, here are the cos functions. We want this one because we've got a constant. And the derivative of this is minus k sine kx. A bit trickier. But here we go. So we've got minus and then 4 sine 4x. And that's that done. Question 9 is the fun one because it's got tan involved. We've got y equals tan 6x. So looking down the table of functions, we've got tan x and tan kx. We want tan kx because we've got a constant involved. So the derivative of this is k sex squared kx. So dy by dx equals k, which is 6, sex squared, and kx, so 6x. And there's our answer for question 9. Here's the last set of questions for you. I hope you've been doing well so far. Question 10, we've got find the derivative of the following. So we've got u equals e to the 3t minus cos 7t. Well, I'll start by writing du by dt equals, the first part we've got e to the 3t, 
So looking at our table, this is the function we'll be using. So here's the derivative. So it will be 3e to the 3t, then minus, and we're looking for the derivative of cos 7t. So we've got cos kx, the derivative is minus k sine kx. So we'll have minus 7 sine 7t. So our final answer will actually be du by dt equals 3e to the 3t plus 7 sine 7t. I'd recommend always writing down all the minuses and plus values involved because then you can see them quite easily and know exactly what's happening. And our final question of the video, question 11, y equals ln 5x minus e to the minus 7x. So I'll start off by writing dy by dx equals the first term ln 5x. We've got ln kx here, which becomes 1 over x. Minus our second term is e to the minus 7x. So we've got e to the kx, which becomes ke to the kx. So we've got minus 7e to the minus 7x. Seeing as we have two minuses next to each other, that becomes a plus. So dy by dx equals 1 over x plus 7e to the minus 7x. There's a final answer. And that's all for using a table of derivatives. The next video in this series is using the product rule. I hope this video helped you. Stay safe and healthy out there, and I'll see you in the next video.